Hey class, this is an update to the last video we had on hanging a quote. The last video is correct, but there is another way, and I wanted you to know it because other programs such as Illustrator and Photoshop don't give you all the same features that InDesign does. So here's a method that's a little bit more foolproof that I suggest you try. It works like this. Basically, you select the paragraph that you're working with. I'm going to go to type and um, show hidden characters, make sure I can see the full paragraph. There's actually two here, this paragraph and this paragraph. And I'm going to select the uh, paragraph I want to indent right here. And here's the trick. Go to the paragraph options. This can be in InDesign or another program. And then indent the paragraph. So the entire paragraph would be indented. So you've got some paragraph indenting options that indent the entire paragraph. Not the first line, but the entire paragraph. You just indent that guy in a good bit. Right now we're at 1P8. That should be more than enough. And my next move is going to be whether the first line indent it was an option, or it always, always is an option to create a first line indent. I can actually outdent it. You can't outdent uh, a line until you indent the line. So if you indent the entire paragraph, then you can outdent, as you can see, the first paragraph. And this is more of an optical thing. You just kind of have to look. But it looks like the S is lining up with the B. If I'm not sure that it is, I could maybe go grab a guide to make sure that this is looking right. And if I'm not happy with it, yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. That is a very well hung quote right there. A couple other things to consider that actually weren't included in the other video that I wanted to mention is the fact that if you're creating a quote, you definitely don't want any hyphens. So just go to your options, your character options. I'm sorry, your, it's in your paragraph options. Uh, and then click hyphenate to turn it off so there are no hyphens. And if there's any spots in here that you think aren't pretty enough, like uh, where it says Strange New Worlds right there, I suppose you could press Shift, Enter, create a soft return, go down to the next line, start messing around with some different combinations. You definitely don't want to make a new paragraph. But that's not my main concern. Now down here with Gene Roddenberry, I did want to mention the fact that when you're giving the author credit, it's kind of nice to put a little uh, tilde in there, which is what this guy is called. But you definitely want to separate this, so add some paragraph spacing above it. And I would suggest just right aligning in it. I think that's a pretty slick way to make this work. You definitely want to know, you, you want the author to, to stand out visually. Now there's a lot more stuff we can do to make this pretty up here. But in general, you know, this makes logical sense. Yes, we can mess around with different point sizes if we like. I mean, the point size uh, of this guy right here is the standard, um, well, it's not actually standard, it's 22 points, it's kind of big. Uh, Gene Roddenberry is the same size. You might be tempted to be to make things italic or pick a weird font, but I'm not going to mess with that today. Basically, this is how you hang a quote, and this is how you make sure that your paragraph, that your quote, looks good by turning off hyphenate. So no hyphens. Make sure and hang those quotes, people. And on the assignment, make sure you do not center. That that, that defeats the purpose of hanging a quote. So make sure you don't try and center. You need to hang a hang quote for this week's assignment.